Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are going to talk about Helldivers 2. The developers just confirmed that they are looking into the issues as of late, so if you guys are just sweating out there, you're worried about the game, you think, oh, maybe it's gonna fail. Nah, it's absolutely not, but there is some good news about that, and we're gonna get into that. Not only are we going to be discussing that, but we're also going to take a look at a community manager's post over at the official Helldivers 2 Discord, specifically talking about XP. And we're also going to take a look at some bugs that have been plaguing the game as of late. So there's a lot to talk about in today's video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Alrighty, let's begin by taking a look at this developer post that was created over at arrowhead.zendesk.com. Then in the middle here, you can see that it says known issues, player support team, and it says nine minutes ago. For you, it's going to be a completely different time when it has been updated because, of course, by the time this video goes up, it'll be a different time. So, anyways, in the middle here, this is what the developer had to say. Hello, everyone. Sagar here, the deputy game director on Helldivers 2. I know there are a number of issues severely affecting gameplay. In this post, I want to share details about some of the most important ones at the moment. What we understand about them and what you might be able to do. What you'll see here is not exhaustive. We are also tracking further items beyond this list. We know these are big, real issues, and if you get hit by them, it can be immensely frustrating. We are going to make this right. We want you in the galaxy as soon as possible, liberating planet after planet. Thank you so much for all the work you've put into making this the fun, welcoming community of fellow Helldivers we love. It really makes all the difference to us every time we see a video of people shooting an unexploded hell bomb, every time we see you having a surprise 4 minute extraction, and every time we watch a bile titan squash you with extreme prejudice. It warms our hearts, Sagar. There you go, this is what the director over at Helldivers 2 had to say specifically about the issues and the bugs. What's great is that it sounds like the team is trying their best over there to get all these issues figured out before the next patch arrives. This way we all can have a smooth experience. I know there is some crashing, there is some bugs, there are just all sorts of issues. Of course, not just, you know, the bugs on the planet and the robots and all that but i mean literally there's bugs in the game so yeah it's great to see that the developer or specifically the director is trying to just inform us about all the issues going on and that they are working on it with that being said the director does continue on within this post and basically gives us an idea on what they're trying to do to fix these issues and what we can do to possibly solve it so let's go ahead and take a look at this first one here. What it says at the top is, despite matchmaking successfully, you still may crash. The problem, if you do get past the big quick play issues, you may still crash. Why it happens, this is related matter to the matchmaking problems. If you do join a mission, the game isn't handling this correctly at all. Frequency, this seems to be happening about 30% of the time, which in turn is only out of the population of people who get past quick play. What we've done are doing. This is a major error and we are working on it as part of the solution to an overall matchmaking issue. What players can do, similar to the item above, the most reliable way to avoid this problem is to share friend codes and play the game this way. And as you can tell, there is some good news and some bad news. The good news is that you can share your friend codes so that you can actually connect, but the bad news is that you cannot use matchmaking. So, yeah, I guess, that is what it is. Now there is good news overall that the developers are looking into a lot of issues with Helldivers 2 as of right now. So even if you have to use your friend codes, that is a better option than none, right? But let's go ahead and continue on and take a look at what else the director has to say. The next issue that the director talks about is mainly for you guys out there that have AMD graphics cards. What you're gonna see right here is that it says Critical problems for players using the AMD Radeon 7000 series of GPUs. The problem, there are all sorts of significant problems players with these GPUs are experiencing. In total, making the game nearly unplayable. Why it happens, we aren't sure at the moment. We had tested with these GPUs previously and hadn't encountered this in-house, but clearly there is something deep that is wrong. Frequency, this isn't a constant issue for these users what we've done are doing this one needs some investigation and our team is looking at it in collaboration with amd please watch this space 
we will update when we have more details on this matter. What players can do? We need to better understand the problem. Thank you already to players who have sent in more details of their specs so that we can attempt to reproduce. Some AMD using players have conveyed that they can play the game on the lowest performance settings. We know this is far from ideal, but it may be worth manually ratcheting down the performance in game via your GPU settings to see if that helps. Again, we will update here when we have more. So yeah, it sounds like you guys out there that have these AMD GPUs are experiencing some issues, specifically the 7000 series. If you are on the 7000 series, let me know if you are experiencing some issues. And if you are, try out what the developers recommend right there. Personally, I could not tell you if there are any issues because I do not own a AMD GPU, um, a 7000 series anyways. I do own a GeForce, which is not going to help at all. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. The next issue has to do with the splash screen and how you guys are pretty much frozen or stuck on the login screen. What you're going to see right here at the top, it says stuck on press any button on the splash screen while trying to log into servers. The problem, some players can't log into the game at all and are stuck on the static splash screen that says press any button. Normally you would proceed straight into your super destroyer from there. These players are also receiving no additional message. It just seems to hang on press any button. Why it happens, this is a server problem. We make a connection to servers when you hit a button here. The server does a handshake with your game, make sure everything is looking clean, and then lets you in. Unfortunately, if the server itself has a big queue of issues, it doesn't return the handshake. Doubly, unfortunately, the message on the splash screen isn't updating to explain that to you. Frequency, this isn't happening constantly as it only occurs in moments when server capacity is reached. The report's entirely clear on frequency of this issue. We suspect it's about 1 out of every 150 players experiencing this. What we've done are doing. This is an issue that we can improve directly with the servers. We've already significantly bumped up the server capacity in the last 12 hours, and we are expecting that this issue should drop now. What players can do, if you still encounter this and it doesn't seem to resolve, can you please write into our Zendesk support queue? It would help us tabulate the frequency more accurately. We'll update this issue in the future to confirm if we believe our fixes are working. As you can tell, they are looking into the issue some more, and if you are experiencing this, even after they have increased the capacity, you can report over here at the Zendesk support. And last but not least, we are going to talk about Game Guard. Yes, for you guys on PC, this is why I did not pick it up on Steam. It's because of the anti-cheat. It's a bit too intrusive. Not only that, but it has a potential keylogger. But anyways, with that information to the side, let's see what the developers had to say. Right here at the top, it says, Game launch falling due to game guard errors. The problem. When this problem arises, players can't start the game at all. Why it happens? The anti-cheat software is catching false positives. Frequency, about 1 in 150 players are reporting this issue, but when it does happen, it's happening all of the time. What we've done are doing. We're working with the anti-cheat vendor to see what adaptions we can make. When we do have the solutions, those will be rolled out automatically via the anti-cheat or game start. What players can do? We've learned that one workaround is to close other running software. We found that the game has a particular challenge running alongside antivirus, fan cooling, or streaming video overlay programs. We would love to have some community support here. If you identify programs that the anti-cheat software can't get past, can you let us know? We can work on getting those legitimate programs whitelisted so you can keep them on and still run the game. It appears that there are some issues when it comes down to running certain softwares and as you guys can tell they are working on it so make sure that you head over to Zendesk and give them all that information and that is specifically for those on PC. Anyways we are going to move along here and talk about XP because Spitz the community manager over at the Helldivers 2 discord had this to say about XP. 
Impact on the Galactic War is mostly determined by the amount of XP earned, which is multiplied by difficulty at the end of a successful operation. Anything that awards higher amount of XP will result in higher impact on the war, and higher difficulty will award a higher XP. An impact multiplier when all operations in a set are completed. This means that clearing side objectives, outpost, or nest will indirectly result in more impact as these award a higher XP total at the end of the mission. However, risking a deployment to complete these objectives may not be worth it, as a failed main objective or failure to extract heavily reduces the amount of XP and impact earned. If you were wondering about the XP, hopefully that answers those questions, but there was a Reddit member that had this to say. Hitman2B said, yeah, except the game tell you your war impact is 1, 2, 3, depending of the difficulty, doesn't matter which XP you have. So yeah, I would like to know your thoughts down below about this. Let me know and let's go ahead and continue on. Spitz also had this to say on the Discord because he believes that we might just receive the MO by next Tuesday. Well, this Tuesday coming up. This is what he had to say over there on the official Helldivers 2 Discord. Next MO is coming probably Tuesday, question mark, and depending on what we've captured by then, it'll determine what we focus on next. If we capture Tibbet late and fail the major order, but still end up capturing it, the GM is still going to work it into the story and have us focus somewhere else next week. Only thing the timer affects is the medal award. It will be interesting to see what the next major order is, so let's go ahead and move on and take a look at this next post here, which is over on Reddit. This right here is a issue that's been going on with PS5. If you are experiencing issues like this, let me know down below, but you can also report this over at Zendesk. This right here is a Reddit user named Downtown Nobody, and this is what he had to say. PS5 keeps crashing after launching the game. I just purchased HD2. Every time I launch the game, I get a black screen followed by my PS5 crashing after waiting for something to happen or will or it will crash if I close the game before getting to any sort of the title menu. When it comes down to this bug right here, I have yet to experience this. If you have, again, let me know your thoughts down below. We are going to continue on and talk about a common issue and that is with your loadout. This Reddit user right here named user underscore 3800 had this to say, biggest glitch no one is talking about. Anyone else having an issue where your character preferences and weapon loadouts are reset every time. You turn the game on and off. I keep getting hints and tips too as if it's my first playthrough. Both in ship telling me about stratagems, directing me to the armory, and in gameplay during missions. Now this right here is a common problem for everybody, you're not the only one. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of issues going on as of right now and if you go over towards SteamDB, it does look like they are updating some files. This right here seems like there is definitely going to be an update here soon. If you guys are not subscribed, do that now. Turn on those notifications. Follow me over on the Twitter. Go ahead and join the Discord. It's all down below, all the links. And with that being said, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next video.